Good afternoon guys, how are we all doing? And welcome back to another video. <laughs> Now guys, we're back and we are feeling loads better this week. If you don't know, last week I was in hospital. I ended up having, I'm not actually sure what I had, I'm guessing flu, but we're back this week. The car's back. We're out here in the middle of absolutely nowhere. We've got a church on the hill behind us and I actually cannot wait to crack on with just getting this car modified, basically. <laughs> guys here she is then my bmw 116i obviously if you haven't watched the first video as i just mentioned links in the top right to go and watch it but as the video is titled this car has multiple issues now as i keep saying obviously my car has got issues um i can't really touch it right now because i just drove out to this really nice location with a castle on the hill over there ed sheeran there um so my engine's really hot but we have definitely got issues including obviously that oil leak that i showed in the last video down there but I'm also not getting washer fluid come up when I hold the stalk back on the steering wheel. And I think that is something to do with um, possibly the lines that run up through into the bonnet, so up here. Um, I'm not sure if they're blocked. Obviously that's like a T-junction one over there. I don't know if you can see down there, but my washer fluid is definitely topped up. So I have got washer fluid in the car. And as you can hear, when I actually pull the stalk back, the motor's running. So I'm not sure if there's, it's, it's definitely got to be a blockage somewhere or it's a faulty motor. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but we'll definitely figure out in a future video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So I actually lost this little bit of footage here, but basically all I was saying was, Basically, here are the mods that I've done on the car so far. There isn't any many. There isn't very many, but here are the ones I have done. So that include changing my indicators. Like I said in the last video, I have bought some brand new ones. I installed them. They are working. Yeah, they are working as you can see, but there is an issue. <laughs> they go in the other direction. They're meant to be going from left to right, but they're going from right to left. I don't care. It's my car. It's my choice. They look great. But let me quickly just jump to when I actually installed these. <laughs> Thank you, me from the future. So, right then, let's get these indicators changed. <laughs> some working indicators these are actually working this time well i hope anyway let's clip it back in and we'll give it one more try perfect there we go that is just what we were looking for let's do the other side One quick and easy mod that took probably about, I don't know, five minutes or so. And it's really transformed how the car now looks, so that is perfect. Back to me, wherever I am. <laughs> now, some things that are definitely going to be done is all the mud flaps on the car, I need to actually, well, I want to take them off. But the issue is, most of the bolts are um, they're rusted onto the car. And I actually can't figure out what head it is because they're so rusted that it is literally impossible. So we're gonna have to get an angle grinder out and cut them off. And that will be later on in this video, just not yet. So before we actually go on and get back home, some of you may be asking, what is actually the plan for this car? Now, I actually don't know myself at the moment, but I'm definitely looking at getting some black, black grills, maybe even try and de-chrome the grills myself. Um, Cause I'm not actually a fan of how the chrome looks. I also want to get a new bumper on the car. But that's just a couple of things out of many that I have planned, but <laughs> will I be able to afford them? I don't know, guys. But anyway, let's get back to my house. Let's cut these mud guards off or mud flaps off, whatever you want to call them. And then we'll go from there. We'll go from there. Oh, hold on, hold on. Before we go, actually, I forgot. I also want to take off the tow 
hook bar thing on the back of the car because I don't need it and it doesn't need to be there. Also, one more thing that I almost forgot, I want to take the badge off because then no one will know I'm driving a 169. Other than obviously all you guys watching this right now. Good morning guys, it's a brand new day. We ran out of time last time, but it's a new day, as we already know. The indicators have been changed. We've also got the mud flaps to take off, which is like, it's just probably a couple of bolts. But I think on the rear though, they're quite rusted, so we're gonna have to get the angle grinder out on that. Um, I actually can't see where they are, but they're back there somewhere, right behind the wheel. So we're gonna have to get the angle grinder out for that. Um, also gonna try and take that tow bar off, but Let's crack on with getting the front mud guards off because they look like they're going to be quite an easy job. So yeah, let's just go. Let's go. We've actually fell into some sort of problem here. Uh, this top bolt, I uh, actually have no clue what it is. I think it's going to have like rubber or something. If you've ever seen that before, let me know in the comments below because I've never seen like a rubber bolt or screw or something. But it is really weird. I have got an angle grinder. I'm going to see if I can just, you know, just cut that right off. But that's just really odd. I've never seen that before. So uh, we've got issue with this bolt. It seems to be extremely rounded off. And I don't even know if it's made of rubber or not but my dad's came in clutch with a damaged screw and bolt removal tool. So we've chucked this into our drill and we're just gonna try and get this out now. Fingers crossed this works, <laughs> we'll see. That worked. Uh, Realised this was actually a rivet in the end, so um, yeah, I don't think this is going back in the car now. But that's okay. Mud flap mostly off. Just got that one more bolt to remove, and this will be done. Fingers crossed. Break my heart if oh well, just like that, it came off nice and easily. Well, since we managed to do the other side quite easily, I say we crack on with this side. Uh, we'll see if it's as easy. I don't reckon it will be. You know, it's how things go. But let's crack on. <laughs> help from my dad we've uh, we've managed to get this side off as well so time to crack on with the rear then once that's done that'll be all the mud flaps off and then we can work on getting the tow bar off the back so yeah then let's go There we go, that is all four mud flaps off the car. Wonderful, let's get this uh, tow bar off now and then we'll give the car a clean and we'll probably wrap the video up there. Let's see. Before we even take the tow bar off, the car is looking so much better already with no roof racks, with no mud guards, anything. The car's looking so much better. I mean, just look at it now. Oh, it just flows so much nicer. Um, so yeah, let's go cracking, crack on getting this off. Looks like it's just gonna be that one there and some more this side somewhere as well. There they are. This looks to be just those, which should then hopefully just take that straight off. Give the car a clean, try to get rid of some like this mud residue that's left. That'll be probably all we can do for this video. Nice. Yeah, 
So what I'm doing guys is I've got two spanners like this. One's going on one side, one's going on the other. And then we just put in one of like this. Oh, believe it or not, this is on really tightly. It will be for a reason. <laughs> so yeah. Oh yeah, that's how we're going about it. There we go. And we've got it off. Oh, that is heavy, heavy work, guys. <laughs> So my next issue is find out where this cable goes to. But as it looks like obviously it's an electrical port here and if you're turning something it's gonna to need to have like a brake light on it. You can almost imagine that runs up into the battery. So we're gonna have a look in the boot, check out the battery, see what's going on, hopefully disconnect this cable and then that'll that'll be this taken off then. Brilliant. Okay, so for now I'm just gonna have to put the tow bar back onto the car because to get the electrical bracket off, um, there's two bolts which need to be undone, which are very, very tough to undo. Um, so I'm just gonna chuck it back on the car for now and leave it as it is, which is kind of unfortunate because I was hoping to get it off. It kind of looks smoother, but oh well, it is what it is. Let's get it back on the car and let's get this car cleaned. Right then, I might have started cleaning it already, but uh, yeah, let's get this thing clean because it is very dusty and I'm excited to feel it's like nice and clean basically. Yeah, let's go. Well guys, that is the car now, fully clean. She's looking brand new. Well, not exactly brand new, but she's looking like a lovely little mirror. Um, I feel awesome to see myself. Window's gonna smash if I ain't careful. But anyway, that is all we've got time for this week. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button down below. Yep, and I'll see you next week on Sunday. Have a great week, see you then.